In this video, we will discuss stiff person syndrome. We'll discuss its clinical feature, causes, pathology, investigation, and treatment. So what's a stiff person syndrome? A stiff person syndrome is an autoimmune disease of the brain and spinal cord frequently associated with other autoimmune diseases such as diabetes, thyroiditis, thyrotoxicosis, and pernicious anemia. Its paraneoplastic form may be associated with breast, lung, or colon cancer. There is increased activity of nerves that cause muscle contraction, pain, spasm, stiffness, rigidity, and postural abnormalities. Spasm, stiffness, and rigidity occur in both agonist and antagonist muscles, causing abnormal posturing like hunchover posturing, and in the lumbar region causes lumbar lordosis, causing wooden or fixed posture. What's the cause of stiff person syndrome? There is an increase in excitatory and or decrease in inhibitory neurotransmitter. The excitatory Excitatory neurotransmitter is glutamate and inhibitory neurotransmitter is GABA. GABA deficiency is more in a stiff person syndrome. So how and where GABA is formed? GABA is formed from the glutamate. Glutamate is converted to GABA in the presynaptic terminal under the action of glutamate decarboxylase enzyme. So glutamate is the precursor of GABA. Glutamate is the excitatory neurotransmitter and GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. What cofactor is required for the conversion of glutamate to GABA? Vitamin B6 pyridoxine phosphate is required as a cofactor to convert glutamate into GABA. A deficiency of vitamin B6 can lead to a decrease in the production of gamma aminobutyric acid. What are the causes of B6 deficiency? Alcoholism and people taking anti-tubercular medications. B6 deficiency in children can cause severe and fatal convulsions. Both GABA and glutamate can enter the TCA cycle. So how GABA and glutamate enter the TCA cycle? After few reactions, GABA is converted to succinate. Succinate then enter the TCA cycle for energy production. Glutamate is converted to alpha ketoglutarate and then enters the TCA cycle. Which antibodies are present in a stiff person syndrome? In a stiff person syndrome, syndrome, the two types of antibodies. Antibodies to GAD get glutamate decarboxylase enzyme that converts glutamate to GABA. And number two, antibodies against the proteins amphiphysine involved in the function of glycine and GABA. Amphiphysine is present at the postsynaptic neuron and helps GABA to combine its receptors. What are the triggering factors of stiff person syndrome? Sudden movement, sensory, auditory, and emotional stimuli are the triggering factor for the syndrome. Female to male ratio is 2 is to 1 and usually the age of onset is between 30 to 60 years of age and 50% patients have sphincter disturbances. Which muscles are more rigid in stiff person syndrome? Muscles of the trunk and proximal lower limb muscles are more rigid. What are the psychiatric features in stiff person syndrome? anxiety and depression. A congenital form of the stiff person syndrome is a stiff baby syndrome or a stiff infant syndrome. Diagnosis. About 60% of the affected people have glutamate decarboxylase antibodies. That is they have antibody against the enzyme glutamate decarboxylase that converts glutamate to GABA and this antibody is present in the blood. But absence of glutamate decarboxylase antibody does not rule out the stiff person syndrome. The second cause is the antibodies to amphiphysine. Patient may have antibodies to amphiphysine. This is paraneoplastic form because it may be associated with breast, lung or colon cancer. What EMG shows? EMG shows continuous motor activity in the skeletal muscle. What's a CSF finding? Oligoclonal band can be seen in about two-thirds of affected people who have GAD antibodies. Blood sugar and thyroid stimulating hormone tests should be done to rule out diabetes 
and thyrotoxicosis and thyroiditis. There is a treatment of stiff person syndrome, muscle relaxants, benzodiazepines, high dose diazepam and baclofen, anticonvulsants like sodium valproate, analgesics for pain control, IV immunoglobulins, immunotherapy, plasma phoresis is also effective. Control of tumor should also be done. And stem cell transplants also successfully treat the stiff person syndrome.